model engine building has been around for many years with continuing interest and intrigue. Depending on skill levels and available time, these can vary from relatively simple to extremely complex designs with precision far exceeding the original big boy counterparts. You will find old farm style stationary hit and miss, motorcycle, automotive, and aircraft, many being multi-cylinder engines just to name a few. Also many steam, hot air sterling, and original designs. Ever hear the cackle of a little Harley? Or how about a mini Offenhauser running at 10 grand? Some are almost microscopic in size. Notice the penny in the display case. The model featured here is a loose replica of the Atkinson deferential four-stroke engine. This version is air-cooled and has a vapor carburetor using camping fuel. A 6-volt tractor ignition coil is in the base with an electronic buzz coil circuit and is powered by a 6-volt rechargeable lantern battery. This is triggered by a Hall effect transistor and a small magnet on the crankshaft. A drip oiler feeds small amounts of oil directly into the intake. The concept of the operation remains unchanged from the original design. The concept of operation is very unique and a real departure from the typical four-stroke engine. All four strokes are completed in one revolution of the crankshaft. There are no timing gears, camshafts, or push rods. The intake and exhaust valves are self-activating. The pumping piston is on the left and the working piston is on the right side. As the pistons move to the right, the pumping piston shows out the exhaust and pulls in fresh air fuel mixture. As the pistons move to the left, the working piston follows along and begins to compress the mixture, lining up with a spark plug which fires and the exploding gases sends the working piston back on the power stroke. Also the power stroke is twice as long as the compression stroke contributing to high fuel efficiency. As with any model being built, the anticipation, joy, and excitement comes to the head when the last bolt, the last little dab of paint, and everything is wired up. Flip the big switch, wait for that bolt of lightning, and watch your little monster come to life and run.